this tune uh, is called the Kesh Jig, and uh, it's a tune I first learned in uh, County Sligo from a lot of the local musicians there. Since uh, Kesh is a, a place from that part of the world, a small place in County Sligo. Um, but it be, it's, a, it's a tune you'll hear a lot now played in sessions um, because it was popularised uh, by the Bothy Band, a group I used to play with back in the 70s. Um, the Bothy Band recording of this tune became uh, very influential. But of course, I'm here on my own right now. I'm not with the band, so uh, you're just going to hear the fiddle version. But I'll strip it down to its basics. So here we go. So those two phrases kind of uh, um, are counterparts with each other. And then the second one. And then that's followed by... first part continues in much the same way so the 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 basic notes of the kesh jig are not too complicated but what makes it an interesting tune is what you do with those basic notes um, we have selection of long notes that we can shorten decorate and change slightly um, but mainly we make an effort to bring out the strength of the tune. The strength of the tune is already there in the, in the basic version. It's just a matter of how to enhance that. Um, and I'll show you a few of the things that I do that uh, I think help to make the tune come alive a little bit. So. That opening phrase, um, I would probably put a roll on the first G and then the long A becomes A B A. So instead of I'd put a roll on the first note and then the A becomes A B A. 